Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Nexus RX 6300 630 watt power supply. What's included with this power supply is the Madra leads, power cord, and the four screws for mounting the power supply in the case. The Nexus RX line of power supplies are currently available in wattages ranging from 530 to 1000. I will be reviewing the 630 watt model today. Now how is wattage determined? Well to understand that you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use and there are essentially two different rails the 3.3-5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3-5 volt rail is 140 watts and the 12 volt is 600 watts which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3-5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards and so on while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU video cards, etc. Also some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. Well the plus 3.3 volt and the plus 5 volt rails are both 25 amps each and this power supply comes with a single plus 12 volt rail that's 50 amps. There are a couple of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware that you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high-end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply for a hardcore system. Select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If, however, you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top-of-the-line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's 1000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. The efficiency of this power supply is rated above 82% at all loads. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, overvoltage, undervoltage, and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has a PFC. A PFC, or active power factor correction, assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. A PFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has a PFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, AD+, NVIDIA SLI, and ATI Crossfire. Many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications. Sixth, look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors. This ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low-grade capacitors. This power supply uses Japanese capacitors. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply that has a modular design because it reduces the cable mess inside the case. Now let's have a closer look at this power supply. It has a fairly high gloss paint finish. The housing is steel and they include a temperature controlled 135 millimeter fan. So the hotter the inside of the power supply gets, the faster the fan spins. The 135 millimeter fan and the honeycomb ventilation ensures maximum cooling so the power supply should remain cool in almost any environment. Here's the power switch and the power cord connection. This power supply has lots of leads, but the 2024 pin, 4 pin, as well as the 8 pin motherboard leads and the PCI Express video card lead, they are all hardwired into the power supply and cannot be removed. But the remaining are modular leads. Modular leads are fantastic because you only need to use the ones required for your particular setup, which reduces the cable mess and also increases airflow inside the case. Finally, have a listen to the 135 millimeter fan. The Nexus RX line of power supplies really have a fantastic range, all the way from 530 watts up to 1000 watts. So you can get a power supply that best suits your power requirements as well as fitting your budget. Now this power supply 
does perform really well and it's very quiet. It should meet the requirements for most mid-range gaming computer builds. Overall, this is a great product. Until next time, take care.